guys and gals. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is Beauty Fat, and today we're going to do a Walmart haul. Okay, so I went to Walmart. I made this list of all of these things that I needed to go get to Walmart. I mean, to go get from Walmart today just to get to Walmart and get absolutely nothing that was on my list ex with the exception of like a few items because I realized it was Easter Sunday. Like, people have been talking about Easter all week long. People were talking about it last week because their kids are at home and their kids are used to doing stuff at school for Easter. And so people are talking about all of these, you know, like items they were buying to do, you know, projects with their kids for Easter, making eggs, who was going to do Easter egg hunts with their children because they weren't inviting people over, they weren't going over anybody's house, blah, 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 blah. And it still never dawned on me that that was because this weekend is Easter and I have a grand boy. And I just, I don't know, it just never dawned on me until I got inside of Walmart. And as soon as I got inside of Walmart, I was like, wait a minute. I looked through my phone and I was like, Sunday is Easter and I haven't done anything. I kept so. looking at like all of the different Easter baskets that they had and you know they have some big kid um, Easter baskets you know well my grandson is only six um, he'll be seven next month but he's not like Trevor is a wise guy okay like he's he's a wise guy and he doesn't like which Y'all know what I mean. Like, six-year-olds aren't six-year-olds ten years ago. Like, they're different. And I really don't know what he likes. I just don't. But I do know he likes stuff like Minecraft, Fortnite, and um, Roblox. But I don't know what type of items you can actually purchase without purchasing a video game. And I was like, well, I'm not going to purchase a video game to go in his Easter egg, um, Easter egg basket and then I didn't like some of the Easter egg baskets. Some of them looked like they were too old for him. Some of them looked like they were too young for him. Some of them only had two items in it and it was like $30. You get a basketball and like four or five pieces of candy and it's $30. Okay, so out of all of that, I was like, I ended up getting him two like shorts outfits with some little flip flops and belt to match. I got on some underwear. I let me just show you I what I got. I have no idea. I've only made him a made a basket twice. The rest of the time I bought a basket for him. So I couldn't figure out what to do. And he's a boy, so I got him this pail because what is he gonna do with the baskets? They had bunny rabbit baskets, basketball, they had all kind of baskets. And I was like, what is he gonna do with the basket? But I I didn't want to want him to go go into Easter get a basket without some kind of bear but I don't know I think bunnies and bears are cheesy for boys some boys not all boys but for Trevor I think he'd be like grandma I don't want this but I wanted to get him a stuffed animal so I found this dog look and it says happy Easter on it well I don't know if you can see that that says happy Easter yeah so it says happy Easter and he is huge. This was only $8 at Walmart. And he is huge. And he's adorable. And he is so soft. It says Easter Fluffy Floppy. Way to celebrate. Ages three and up. But I just thought this was cute. And I have no idea if I'm going to try to stuff him in this pail. Or if I'm going to wrap him around. I think I'm going to wrap him around it. I don't know yet. But... I thought this was adorable for to go in his Easter basket. Drop a comment if you think it's too cheesy, if you think he'll think it's cheesy. And like I said, my guy is a wise guy. Thinking of like, you know, he likes Legos and all of that kind of stuff. I found this right here. This Lego kit, it's a Minecraft. He used to play Minecraft some years ago. And I had gotten him a Roblox set but he lost some of the stuff to it. So when I seen this, I was like, I think Trevor would like this because he, it's like a whole set. There's like, I, I want to say it's a farm if if you ask me, because there's a tree, what looks like a lamb, what looks like some plants growing. And I mean, you can make all kinds of things. On the back of it, it shows you right here, all the different things that you can make. Um, but, oh, look, duh. So there's a guy named Steve. 
a dyed sheet, a dyed, and a, well, all three of them are sheet. A red one, a yellow one, and a white one, which I think is cute for Easter. I mean, and then he can create whatever he wants to create. And as you can see, like I said, it gives you some examples on the back of all the different things. And this was $16, so I, again, I don't know how I'm going to stick this in this thing. I don't know how I'm going to work that out, but I'm a grandma. And then I'll what is it? an Easter basket without some kind of book. My grandbaby used to love PJ Masks, and he still likes PJ Masks, I'm pretty sure. So I got him a book, and it's a book filled with five minute stories with Catboy, um, Gecko, and Owlette. And it's a pretty thick book, you know, so for him to be six years old, this will keep him busy. It's not something he can go through within a few minutes. This is something that'll keep him busy. And it's, I mean, it's a thick book. I love how it's made. I like the quality of the book, for one. It's thick. And it was only $11.68. And it tells you a little bit about the stories that are in the book. And of course, you got the characters and everything. So I got, I had to get a book. You gotta get a book to go in a homemade Easter basket, okay? Easter without an Easter egg. So my baby doesn't like my grandson to have candy. So I, sorry, look at that light, child. <clears throat> um, my my baby doesn't like my grandson to have candy. So I got him some eggs for decoration instead of candy so these are a dollar and some change um, they're called confetti eggs and I mean I can't open it but inside are just fake Easter eggs they're fake eggs in different colors and I got him an egg making kit so he and it has the instructions on it him and I did this with some real eggs when he was about four years old so I thought that would be a nice um, activity for him to do for on Easter day or whenever he wants to he doesn't have to do it on Easter he can do it whenever he wants to so yeah isn't that cute I think so I don't know how much this is but I don't think it's more than a dollar although my daughter doesn't want him to have candy I had to put a little something I mean it's only a few things it's one stuffed egg with some candy in it and it has lemon heads jelly beans crawler sour bright crawly minis and now and later and I think this was three dollars if I'm not mistaken but um, I know she'll she'll just you know dispense it out to him so but anyway this is the only thing I got that was sweet that you know for, for candy to go in which I think is enough not only is it enough but I think it's perfect for his little basket all right and then to make the basket I got this for like 90 something cents it's called an Easter cello roll it's just a roll of plastic with um, eggs on it and I got this little Easter bunny tag it's a gift tag and I got these to go on it to wrap them around the top of it you know what I mean so I don't know <laughs> how I'm gonna do this um, thinking I'm gonna do a video of me creating my grandson a, an Easter egg basket because I've never used this generally when we make the Easter egg basket we buy the get the bag from the Dollar Tree and just sit it down in there voila done I've never done this before so this is gonna be a treat so I might do a video on and how then I of course his y'all I just thought these are so cute so I told you he's a wise guy and he's such a gentleman. My grandbaby's a Taurus and he is a definite gentleman. So I like dressing him like a gentleman. And Walmart had the cutest little shirts. And I've gotten him a shirt similar to this before, but it was long sleeve. And so when I saw these, I was like, this would be perfect for Trevor. I mean, this is just him. I'm gonna have to find a way to put a picture of Trevor somewhere on the screen so you can see how adorable he is. And I got these shorts to go with it. Isn't that cute? Little outfit. I think that's cute. I mean, and this this just spells Trevor, y'all. Y'all, me and my grand boy, y'all would know that spells him. And then I seen this shirt, and look at the collar. Isn't that collar cute? This shirt is 
absolutely adorable to me. I mean, absolutely adorable. It's like this red, it's not stripes. I don't really know how to describe it, but can you tell like it's red, white, and pink stripes? But I mean, they're so meshed together. I love this. Anybody that has this, got this shirt for their kid, they understand what I'm talking about. And these shorts to match. And I thought these shorts were perfect for this shirt because inside the pleat of the shirt, it has this same, this like denim looking material. And so this these are like cotton, but they mimic denim almost. Like some little swimmer, they're made like swimmer trunks, but they're shorts. And I thought they would be perfect with this shirt, right? I mean, just adorable stuff. These, the shorts are $8.76 and the shirt is $8.94 and the same for the other outfit. Aren't those adorable? Those are just too cute for me to pass up. Okay, and you can't get him those kind of shirts without getting him some wife beaters, child. I know they're, I don't know, everybody don't like to call them wife beaters, but these call them egg shirts whatever you want to call it. I call them white beaters. But just in case he want to keep his little shirt unbuttoned, he'll have his little white beater on. And I got him these boxers. Some, um, what do you call it? The Justice League boxers. It's got Batman. Oh no, these are all Batman. I thought I got the multi-pack. But anyway, some Batman boxers so he can be styling up under his outfit, okay? And to accent them all off, Look at these flip flops. Aren't they perfect for his outfits? Look at them, they are so cute. They are $9.98. And I've gotten him flip flops like these before, or either they were sandals, I don't remember. But then the belt to go with his little outfit and his sandals. And I was just like in heaven. The belt was $7.97. I forgot to tell you how much those boxes were. Uh, the price tag is known as I have no idea, nor for the t-shirts, but y'all know it's about the same price as everything else. So that could not have been completed without getting him a watch. And my grandbaby loves um, Wakanda, y'all. Wakanda, Wakanda, however you pronounce it. So, anyway, he has a Wakanda watch. And the face of it spins. And it opens up with um, the Black Panther on the inside. Can you see it? It's got the Black There it go. The Black Panther on the inside with digital time. So, yeah, I wanted him to have this. The time all wrong. So, I got to set it before I give it to him. But I just thought this would be cute to go along with this Easter basket. So those are the things that I got for my grand boy. And I just got to figure out how to stuff it and put it all cute together in his Easter basket. And I really do think I am going to do a video on that. But now I need to show you what I was supposed to go in Walmart and get for me. Okay? Okay, so you know I do these hauls and I mean... No, I don't do hauls. Um, I've been trying to do makeup and everything. And if you watched my last video, I was talking about how my foundation is either always too light or too dark. So I wanted to go find a foundation that was in, the bet in between the two that I had to see if it would look better with my skin. So I found this one and it is Maybelline New York Fit Me matte poreless in the color 335 now i think the other one that i have is 336 i don't remember but or 35 i don't know whatever it is i will discuss it when i get ready to do a makeup tutorial tomorrow but at any rate it's just a shade brighter than the color that i already have i got this for six dollars and 99 i'm six dollars and 97 cents at walmart and it's called classic tan and we'll just see what it looks like on my hand. But look, well, it's almost the same color, but my hand generally is way lighter than my face. But um, so here is what the color looks like. And we just gonna pop it on the back of my hand and rub it in. 
Okay. What you think? It's a little bit tanner than my hand, but that's how my face is. Like my face is a lot more tanner than my hand. My hand is just pale to death. So as you can see, what do you think? I don't know. We'll see when I get ready to put it on my face. But as far as the hand test, which I don't know how to make it look. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see if I dim the light. No. Boo, that ain't getting Anyway. But that's what it looks like. I think it's going to do good. It looks good to me. Let's see the difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's horrible. This hand looks so much older than this one now that I've, I have foundation on it. But that's a good thing because that's what we want our foundation to do, right? I also got some more pressed powder. So the pressed powder that I have is also Fit Me, but it's in the color 332, if I'm not mistaken. This is 355. I know you're wondering why I would get something so much darker than what I have, but the other one does good on my skin, but when you see it in person, it makes me look pale. So I'm trying something a little darker to see if it'll take away the paleness. Now, if this is too dark, then I'll just have to use it up, as I always do, child. I don't waste nothing. And then I'll um, I'll know to get something a little light. See, you can't even tell with my lighting how dark, how much darker it actually is. Let me see. You can't, but anyway, let me put it on the back of my hand. Okay, see how the back of my hand looks? before applying it. Now let's just look after we apply it, see what it do. Oh, chill. Boo, that looked a little dark, dark. Oh, ooh, child. It's, when I say it's, <laughs> look how I just smooth my dang on skin out. Wait a minute. Let me see, does it look darker? Mm-mm, but it sure looks a lot smoother. Child, what would we do without makeup? Anyway, oh, let me show you this. So, I got me some more primer, and this time I got it by Wet n Wild. I want to say my last primer was Maybelline's um, Prime and something another, but I got this by Wet n Wild. I thought I had the face, um, the setting spray too, but I guess I don't ask me. But anyway, so I'm going to try this primer. It's by Wet n Wild. It's called Photo Focus Face Primer Matte. Matte, matte. Mm, whatever. Okay. It says it's supposed to be lightweight, refines the appearance of pores, smooth skin for even makeup application. So we're going to see. Okay. I'm going to see if it works like Master Prime, my Maybelline Master Prime. We'll see. And I have, I usually always get the Dollar General, I mean Dollar General, the Dollar Tree um, liquid liner. But Elf, Elf has a pretty good section in our Walmart. And they had a lot of stuff I really wanted to try, but I couldn't get everything. So I went ahead and got this because I'm running low on my liquid liner. So we're going to see how it works tomorrow. And I really think that's it. Now, a friend of mine referred me to this. Primo Beard Oil. I got this because my hair is super thin. Like, my natural hair looks like this, right? Except it's not as thick. It is super, super thin. Like, my the hair itself is very, very fine. And then it's very, like, it's so thin. Like, I don't, there's no density. Like, when I wear my hair out like this, like, you can see straight through to my scalp. Then don't let the sun be shining on it, child. Oof. So, anyway, I was complaining about that at work one day, and a friend of mine um, told me to try this. He said that this thickens up his beard well, and 
Um, so one of the females was sitting there with me said that yes she uses it on her hair and after about two weeks she saw a difference so I don't think anything works within two weeks I, I think I'm just it's just gonna have to be a product I'm gonna use for a while and then I'll tell y'all some other time whether or not I think that's real because um, the Jamaican black castor oil didn't do that for me and I used it for three months so but there are so many different types of Jamaican black castor oils and I got mine off Amazon well the first time I got in a beauty supply store and I was like okay a lot of them get their stuff from China it probably was fake let me just go ahead and order some from Amazon which I ordered um, from some you know one of the ones that had like a th over a thousand and some odd um, reviews and I tried it again it didn't do it for me but I don't know I'm still willing to try products so and that's I'm really trying. it for my Walmart shopping spree I did today and it wasn't really a shopping spree but like I said I went in there to get just a few things and realize that Easter is coming up this Sunday. So I hope you guys are planning on having a wonderful Sunday. I'm not gonna be doing anything, but hopefully visiting with my grandson. I'm gonna put some food on the grill. So it's supposed to stay pretty all weekend. Let's hope that it does so. I hope you guys are being safe. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Drop me a comment. Please give me a like. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It costs you absolutely nothing to do so, but it greatly supports me. And I'd appreciate it. If you have a channel that you want me to support, let me know. I always sub back to anybody that subscribes to me. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. And I hope to see you next time. Take care. Be safe and have a great weekend.